Hi, I'm Kirk Duckwall with Bricks Real Estate and House Geeks. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about not being in a rush to buy. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see people that they'll try to jump into this process because what happens? They have a situation where time or they feel time is limited and they have to move quickly. So why is this? Well, usually it's a lease coming due. That's probably the most common one. It gets down to about uh, two months to a month before the lease is up. The problem is, is that's not enough time to find more than likely what you're going to want to live in. And we'll get into that in a second when we get to the time of real estate. Um, moving to a new area. Somebody's coming in from out of area and they want to buy a house. They're only going to be here, um, you know, maybe a couple weekends and they try once again to rush this process. Life changes, job or family. Even if you're in the area, oh, I'm moving to the other side of the cities, I need to find a place uh, closer to work or a family change. Family's growing, family is shrinking, whatever it may be, and you need to, or feel that you need to move quickly. The best way to avoid this is just be prepared to rent a little longer. Be prepared to rent. Be prepared to stay where you're at to give yourself enough time. If it is a rental position, get yourself on a six month lease or a month to month. It may cost a little bit more, but it won't cost as much as making the mistake of buying the wrong place, realizing it's the wrong place, and then needing to sell it shortly thereafter taking a large financial loss. Make sure that you're setting realistic goals. Best way to do with this is sit down with your realtor and go over your priorities and talk with them to see if those are realistic goals uh, to get the home that you're looking for. Okay, time of real estate. This is why I say don't be in a rush. You can expect that it's going to take you anywhere from one to three months to more than likely find the home that best suits your needs. You've got to give the market a little time to bring in the inventory. Then from the time that you make that offer, it may be an additional one to three months before you move. So this six month lease time frame gets shortened up real quick if you're getting to the 90 day mark and then you make a 90 day closing. Keep in mind too, when you typically buy a home, you're not going to have a monthly payment for anywhere between one to one and a half to two months from when you close. So overlapping payments, when you start to figure that time, um, time of real estate in there, gives you a little cushion. Hopefully that helps you when you're thinking about buying your next home, not to be in a rush.